I feel like it appeals to more like normal people who have a kinky side. Welcome back to Couple to Couples, I'm Delphine. I'm Juan. As you know, for sure by now, we love going to kinky parties. And that's why we decided to do our kinky party reviews. Today, we'll be reviewing for play at KitKat. We'll talk about different aspects, such as the crowd, the vibe, the music, location, and dress codes. So foreplay happens every two months at KitKat. And as you know, we love this club. And what I really love about foreplay, which is special for KitKat, is that they have a kinky marketplace. So when you enter, like in the changing room, there's a little mini kinky market. So they sell kinky clothes. It's really cute. And then it's nice because maybe if you're like missing like a nice choker for the party, or like if you just mm -hmm. find something and you just want to add to your outfit, you can get it. So it's really nice. And it's like really small. Um, companies so you can find maybe stuff that you wouldn't find in like on internet or like in more like in bigger shops as you know KitKat has loads of rooms mm -hmm. for this party they open four floors or four rooms so the main one which is massive which is techno then there's another one it's called the dragon room for this part is more housey mm -hmm. and then the other two rooms which is basement as usual and it's kind of like um it's disco yes i'm, I'm more disco for <laughs> this party yeah keep in mind that kit cut depending on the night the music shifts mm -hmm. so it's not always the same and the other room which actually we had a nice story we met by chance that night one of the promoters of the party and he introduced to us one room, which we were not aware about it, mm -hmm. which is called Prisma Room. So you really need to go through little stairs. Mm -hmm. I mean, Kitka has many, as I said, many rooms, but they are com completely scattered. You know, mm -hmm. it's, like, yeah. it's like a maze like sometimes. Like a labyrinth. You know? yeah. Exactly, <laughs> labyrinth, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this one Prisma was really nice, tiny as well, that mm -hmm. room, and the music was techno. So for four play, the crowd, I would say, is much younger than the usual night at KitKat. And also, they move a lot of people. So it's mm -hmm. like really, really, really crowded. There's a lot of people. Even if you get there at like midnight, it's, really it's packed. packed the place. And most of the rooms are open. So like to pack this place, it's like you need a lot of people. The queues normally are really, really long. Even if you have guest list, it's... Really, really long queue. I think that's the most queue I've seen in KitKat for any party. And you also feel like the crowd is a bit less techno and a bit less, uh, maybe a bit less alternative as well. Yeah. I feel like it appeals to more like uh, normal people who have a kinky side. I think it's more kind of like a, a more colorful uh, KitKat night. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So yeah, you see people, I don't know, like not wearing so much black. And it's more kind of like joyful. Yeah. And yeah. yeah, like vibrant. And they also have body painting. So like maybe if uh, your outfit yeah. is not so colorful, then you just go to body painting. And actually they really emphasize it on the website and on the event description that you should try to wear something colorful. It's really part of like the identity of the party. The vibe in this party is, I think, way more joyful and happy and you really said people are dancing a lot and having fun. It feels really lighter in general yeah. than like a Berlin party like night. Like, exactly. Cl cl cliche of a techno exactly. people, you know, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. which I really like uh, because it's kind of like a different experience of like a techno Berlin night. 
and we always bump into people we know in this party. I just feel like it brings people from like a lot of different uh, kind of like backgrounds. Uh, backgrounds because we meet colleagues, we meet people that we talk to on Instagram, you know, so like actually we got recognized in, <laughs> yeah, by another in KitKat. Couple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we really love that it feels like a big festive party, you know? shimmering comb jellies. Hey, hey guys. guys! Wanna support us and get to know more about Berlin's kinky nightlife? What kinky parties are happening in Berlin this weekend? What should you wear to get in? Check out our Patreon through the link in our bio and become part of our kinky community. Enjoy, Enjoy the, the video. video! They also have performances which are really nice. But kinky of course. Kinky, yeah exactly. But one of the things that I like the most about this party are the pictures. So they have this photo booth, mm -hmm. dancers, and uh, yeah, I think the pictures they look quite unique. Yeah, they're quite different from yeah. like the, you know, like, because Gagan <laughs> or Panceptual yeah. or Symbiotica, they have this really black and white uh, kind of like a serious uh, Berlin, aesthetic. Berlin techno aesthetic. Mm. But the pictures of foreplay are like really joyful, joyful and fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like not so serious. That was it for foreplay. So I think if you're kind of like a beginner starting to go to like kinky parties, that's really the perfect place. And actually they want it uh, to be also not so serious and not so like, ah, you're like, you have to have this fetish or like to be really like kinky or have like a really fetish outfit. It's more accessible. It's way more accessible. And I think that's why the vibe is so nice. You know, it's not so rigid, rigid, rigid like mm -hmm. some other clubs in, in Berlin. What's your favorite kinky party in Berlin? Do you have any kinky party in your city? Let us know in the comments below and we we'll see you next, next time, time for another video. Bye.